What is up guys, welcome back to another video, my name is Sparkman. Today I'm going to show you how to transform HTML5 games into Android games. Well, it's actually not just games, it's anything that is a HTML5. You can convert it into an APK, which you can upload to the um, Google Play Store. For this example, we are going to need a um, CMD, command dust prompt. So let's find it, CMD, run this as administrator, here it is, okay, here is our command console. Uh, I'm assuming that you already installed uh, uh, Node.js and you installed Adobe Phone Gap. Now, if you haven't done that, uh, there is a link under the description below to um, show you how to install PhoneGap in Node.js. Now, I'm not going to code HTML5 right now. Um, actually, we should just use a free program. I was going to use Construct3, but I haven't used Fusion in a while. So here is the free version. So let me just open this. Da let's just create something simple so I can show you. You can create um, you can create Android games with the free version of anything, including Fusion and um, Construct 3. I think Construct 2 uh, does um, HTML5 games for free as well. Now, GDevelop lets you create HTML5 games uh, for free as well. So there is a lot of programs out there that will let you do that. But today we're going to use Fusion. So let me just add, uh, set the size of this. This is going to be 720 by 405. I think we can turn uh, menus off. No, you can't. Okay, uh, but we want this to be uh, full screen. And let's see what else. Fit inside black bars. Um, Anti-aliasing when resizing. No. Yeah, what else? Um, let's give it a name. Let's call this uh, Super Game. There you go. So iOS wait for touch. No, just crown. Let me just change the background here. Just the background, uh, something better. We're gonna make the background pink, just because we can. There's our ball here, and uh, let's make this a bouncing ball. We see test the position of this, and let's make it bounce. So basically, that's just going to bounce. Make it so if the user clicks anywhere on the screen, we can uh, set the position of the ball. Close the position of the uh, mouse X and Y position so you click and you can create uh, different balls okay actually we should create the ball first anywhere now reverse the order of that create that first so now we can create the uh, balls we are ready to export this uh, to HTML5 so let me just save this Export to HTML5, uh, project name, super game. Make a folder on the desktop, call it super game as well. There you go. And export. This only takes a second. Close this, save it, I guess. Now, if you um, open this with uh, Firefox, there is our um, game. So there is our HTML5 document. Now this doesn't have to be created with Fusion. You can uh, create this with uh, any other program out there. Or you could make it manually if you wanted to. So let's go to uh, C drive. Here is our command us prompt. And uh, let's um, go back. CD. CD back. And now we're on C drive. Sure, let's create a new project. Uh, this is going to be a uh, phone gap. Create. Uh, w W test um, test one. You don't have to call it test one. You can call the folder whatever you want. Okay, we're going to uh, wait for that to create the project. Waiting, waiting. It could take a while. It takes about a minute or so. Come on, mother. <coughs> Hurry up. Creating a new Cordova project. Take your sweet time there. Two thousand years later. Okay, and there is our project. This is what you get when you first uh, create this, all these files. And uh, the only folder we're interested in is this here. 
okay because if you open this you can see that uh, this is also an HTML5 um, application or HTML5 website or whatever you want to call it we want to replace this for our game so just delete all this here and put your game in there copy this bring it over here and, and paste it so now you have that so what we're going to do now we're going to open our uh, developers console again and we are going to go inside this folder which is the uh, ww test one and as I mentioned, you don't have to call it uh, WW test one. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it potatoes, bananas, or f or anything you like. Okay, so we're gonna go inside that folder. We're gonna go CD WW test uh, one. Now we're inside the folder. So now we want um, phone gap. Phone gap. Uh, build Android. And press enter. Now this too could take a couple of minutes depending um, on the speed of your computer. My computer takes about, um, I don't know, maybe about a minute waiting. It's going to um, create something inside this folder here, platforms. Just waiting for that to finish. How long is this going to take? So now let's go to uh, platforms and here is our folder. This is a um, Android Studio project. So let's open Android Studio, which is also free. So feel free to download Android Studio. We for Android Studio to open. It's a bit sluggish at first, so be patient. I think it has a lot of modules and things in there that um, need to be loaded. And that's why it probably takes so long to open it's not that bad it's roughly about uh, a minute or so and here it is android studio this is the version at the time of this recording but this should work with later versions too and previous versions let me just copy this address here and let's open an existing project let's paste this here open now i'm not i'm not sure about the rules about um not monetizing stuff made with the uh, free version I'm not sure so you're gonna have to take this with uh, the owners of the software okay so Construct 3 I believe has some rules about uh, not monetizing or I think it's selling I'm not sure if, if if it's just selling okay because if I create a free game made with Construct but I have Google Adsense on my website um, I think you're allowed to do that I'm, I'm I'm not sure on the specifics, okay? I mean, you're not selling the game. You're simply displaying ads. Uh, now, in Android Studio, you can add um, uh, AdMob, okay? And I'm not sure if you're allowed to do that. I'm not entirely sure. So, you, like I said, you're probably going to have to ask. Okay, it's almost finished scanning the files there. Uh, we do have a couple of errors there. So, we're going to fix them right now. Let's see what the errors are. So if you see this error, don't get scared. That's no big deal. Uh, the error message is uh, the minimum SDK version. Okay, so we can fix that. Super easy. Go to um, Cordova manifest file. And this is set to 16. Let me set that to 14 because that's what we got in the other um, file there. Gradle. Let's um, update this. And I think we're fine now. So let's run this in the emulator. Initialize in the emulator. Now, if you have your cell phone plugged in, you cannot uh, try it with your cell phone. So let's run this. I'm going to show you that uh, the game shows up here. There's the emulator. There's the logo. Now, this emulator can be slow, so you can probably, uh, you probably use your phone instead. Taking a sweet time. Optimize an app. Okay, so now it has to load the uh, the game. Waiting for that to install the game. Okay, so let me flip this over. There you go. There is your uh, application. 
and now we can install this on any cell phone so there you go let me uh get back here I'm going to leave this open in case I need it after okay so now if you want to save this uh, for the Google Play Store all you have to do is I uh, go to build uh, generate sign APK and let's um, yeah let's uh, create a, a key key store uh, we're gonna call this a uh, Le Super Game oh let's call that like Le Super Game all this Super Game 1 copy that password 1 2 3 4 5 6 I don't really care 1 2 3 4 5 6 it's called Super Game 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay let me see I think I Organization Sparks uh, Sparkshaft uh, Los Angeles just for now press the OK button there you go so now we're going to hit next and this is where our app is going to save so that's fine there we're going to sign this with the uh, V2 and a couple of seconds later we are going to have an app ready for the Google Play Store waiting wait 10 okay, so let's open the APK or the folder I should say and there you go let me uh, maximize this there is our APK ready for the Google Play Store so there there's there's <laughs> so there you go so, so there you go anything that lets you create HTML5 you can turn it into an Android game. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye now.